Hi, I'm Everett Skinner of the Fourth, and today we're on site with the barnyard crew installing insulation panels on a timber frame carriage barn. We get asked the question a lot, what is the best way to insulate a timber frame structure? Well, there's a few ways you can insulate a timber frame structure. You can infill framing in between the posts and insulate conventionally. That's not the best recommended method because you're losing the depth on the post. The other option would be to stick frame like a 2x4 or 2x6 wall on the outside of the timber frame. That's a lot of work, that can get costly, but the best way to insulate a timber frame is what we call sit panels. These sit panels stand for structural insulated panel. These are pre-cut panels that come delivered to the job site which have plywood on one or two sides with insulation in the middle. So after the timber frame barn gets raised, we always apply what's called the interior layer of pine siding to the frame. This will allow you to see the nailers, the beautiful interior layer of pine siding, and then the sit panels get installed always on the outside of the frame. The reason sit panels offer the best insulation is because it's straight insulation in the panels. There's no thermal breaks or stud cavities to break up the insulation. And that way, an R15 sit panel is equivalent to say an R21 conventionally wood frame stud wall. That's impressive. All of our timber frame barns come standard with this authentic six by eight timber sill. Typically the foundation is eight inches wide to match the width of the timber sill. Whenever we're using sit panels, the foundation goes from an eight inch to a 12 inch wall so the insulation panels can come sit down right on top of the foundation. Let's talk about the typical wall section on a timber frame structure. We have the timber frame structure itself, and then we pre-apply a layer of pine siding, which will be exposed always on the interior. Next, the four inch sit panel will be installed, and then the finer exterior layer of siding. The huge advantage to the sit panels is the speed of insulation. The sit panels arrive to the job site all pre-cut with the window and door openings cut out, and right now we've installed the bead of silicone on the sill plate and the sit panel gets installed right over the interior layer of siding. As you can see, we pre-installed all of the screws. That's a six inch screw that goes right into the timber frame structure itself. Here we've got the second sit panel going into place on the wall. The seams of the sit panels get connected by plywood splines that are pre-inserted inside the panels. We provide all of the splines, all of the screws to install these panels. You can see the panel is routed out for the window openings, pre-cut, so there's no cutting, there's nothing needed to modify the panels. With the pre-cut sit panels, we provide a plan which shows all of the different panels. You'll notice that every panel has a specific number and a place in the project, much like the timbers in our frame. So it makes it very simple on what panels get installed where. You can see the openings are already cut out of all the panels. This is the dormer wall up above with the windows routed out to make for a simple installation. You'll notice around all the door and window openings, the foam is already cut back an inch and a half. That way a blocking can get installed within the frame to block out all the openings to install doors and windows. Once the wall panels are installed, we drill 5 16 holes between all the seams and fill them with a spray foam to fill all the gaps. Well, today is day two of installing the sit panels on this timber frame carriage barn. We're back with the barnyard crew. On day one yesterday, we got all of the wall panels installed, and today we're gonna to be installing the roof panels. These roof panels are made with what's called a jumbo panel. They're eight foot wide by 24 feet long, and that'll make installation easier, less joints to install, and the crane will pick everything up, put it into place. As the roof sit panels go in place, they also create the overhangs for the building. This barn will have an 18 inch gable and eave overhang.
Well, now that you've seen the SIP panels installed, I hope it makes more sense as to why we choose this method of insulation over any of the others. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at thebarnyardstore.com.